Is it worse then? Way worse. There's nothing wrong with that. Why is that one? There's nothing wrong with that. Why is that one? There's nothing wrong with that. Wait a minute. That one is like they're taking you for Popeye, literally, dog. Oh, the. Mac, try it. All right, Mac. Kombelan is his new name now. Kombelan. 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 When was the last time Paul released a song? Ali one. One. One man. Just DJ Mapuris. Give me one name. One song. What the, what, what, what's special with the meet at the hostel? Um, it's straight from the cow that they stole. Ha, no, not, not the stone. The one that he drove into. <laughs> they didn't even talk at all. It's like, I told you five minutes, I'm going to get some money. Jesus. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, you guys are not invited. You can go to go to Rip City all you want. <laughs> you you have a day off. Go to Rip City. Yeah. Come on, we go to the floor. That's what you're talking about. I bet. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Saul Penduka. Yeah? This crew's undermining us, man. Why? 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 First it was a bra. Yesterday we, they went to Gold Reef City without us, dog. They went How? to Gold Reef City? Gold Reef City. Were you there? No, I wasn't. Hey. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Saul, you're looking like you're you hurt, hurt, man. Yeah. Why are you Do hurt? you want to raise? What's happening, eh? Uh, eh? Uh, eh? Well, a modern day striking. <laughs> wow, is this how they strike? It's getting Yo. deep. It's getting deep. How was it? How was it, guys? Since wow. we were not invited. Eh? Eh? How was it? How was Cold Rift City? Mm? This is like Who was there? Who was there? Who was there? Who was there? Except us. Yeah. No, no. Jason! Not yeah. Jason! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jason? And you had Lemo as well. Don't get it. No, it's fine. Lemo, who's Lemo? Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. Sales. Oh, yes, I see her. Yeah. It's fine. We'll go, we'll go to the Seychelles. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's on. Oh. It's on. Different levels. Different <laughs> levels. <laughs> Different levels. Uh, speaking about the crew, man, God is so great. And yeah. When I first met uh, Black Studio, they didn't have a car, right? So they were like, we we'll bring around. And then Muchafa, remember my cousin Muchafa? Yes, I remember. He drove them around for a while. And then um, Tuso drove them around for a while Yes, as well. yes, I remember that. And then period. they bought uh, a little Skoro A Fiesta, ne? At some point, you also driving them as well? Yes, yes. I used to drive yeah. them as well. Because oh, they're yeah. from Pretoria, yeah. How did, you guys would come to my place, ne? Or I'd come to you. Sometimes, I don't know how it worked, but yeah. And oh, then wow. they got a, a Skoro Koronyana, over. So I went to Bada last day. I'm like, ah, Bada. These guys, they're working for the biggest podcast in Africa. They can't be driving this Koro Koro. You know what I mean? Let's make something happen. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. So finally, mm -hmm. came through today. We got them a brand new car. I saw it outside. Well done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, shout out. Man. Uh, big shout out to Kia from uh, the Glen. Yes. Kia the Glen. Yeah, Kia the oh, Glen. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. They came through for the boys. They sponsored them with the car. Now, well done, guys. But you can't Shout smoke weed in the car, guys. Hey, don't embarrass us, man. Don't smoke yeah, weed don't in the car. I saw there was a meeting, but one Billy meeting for the new car. Yeah, for the new car. <laughs> <laughs> I saw downstairs <laughs> with the CEO. Baba Tien good meeting. But what are the rules of engagement with the car? Yeah. It's the Kia Henda. It's the Kia. <laughs> <laughs> the meeting wasn't oh, about the bad, car. My okay, bad. My bad. I thought it was a handover. What, what was the meeting about? Oh, the meeting was not about the car. It was about the social media stuff of the podcast. What are the oh. rules with the car, though? Ah, uh, we haven't got the rules as yet. So I oh, they are! Rock <laughs> on! Don't know how to, They're not coming. They're not coming. <laughs> but be responsible. Shout out to Kia, man. Shout out to Kia, man. That was nice. Shout, shout out, out to Kia. Yeah, shout out. Anyway. And now, what do We are back, ladies and gentlemen. So Penduka is here. Yeah. Uh, 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 Tibla is here. Cost yeah. Ladies here. Dudu's here. Nero's here. Hey, now since you got the car now you don't see it here anymore yeah. <laughs> 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 it's it's changed already yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, Tato is there uh, Tabang is here Fed Checkers is here CMPO is here is the car part of you because it says podcast and chill crew 
Yeah, they must pick me up. Uh, but uh, you've got a car, my dog. They must pick me up. It says crew. Yeah. It's for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, are you excited about Bafana Bafana today? Bafana! I am, bro. I'm really excited. There's hope, man. You know, I haven't felt this excited for Bafana yeah. Bafana in forever. Mm. And the whole country can agree. But yeah. Who are we playing on, Jay? Cape Verde. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. Cape Verde is a bit of a problem, though. But they're a decent side. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. Well oh, done, shit. Well so. The, well you done on. predicted huh? that they will go to as far as they've come. I had a feeling, yeah. yeah. That they I, was to the the, uh, I was lucky. I was lucky. Don't hate. Let's give Saw his flowers. Well done for that. Okay, give but us yeah. another prediction yeah. then. Yeah? Give us another prediction yeah. then. Oh, I didn't say I'm song. a predictor now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one. Uh, who's that guy? <laughs> Confucius. <laughs> oh, come on. Nah, man, I don't know. I said it was a feeling. We want to make it to the semi final. I had a good feeling yeah. about Bafana Bafana, you know? Yeah. I got to say, hate, this this is probably the best FCON of all time, man. Like, all the underdogs are seeing flames. I mean, all the underdogs are doing well, and the guys that we thought would get through and do well are not. That's like true, Like the big man. boys, yeah? That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Can't wait, man. And so, sadly, the results will be out by the time this goes out. I think we're going to make it through. We don't have to do what we did for the rugby. Remember when we did two takes? What if they hit one I remember. But hey, I'm just a bit... Disappointed by Angola, I was expecting for a, a um, an upset because they were playing Nigeria. Yeah. Because uh, now we're gonna play uh, play Nigeria, and you know, we've got a Nigeria problem in South Africa. <laughs> a fucking Nigeria problem. You know, Nigerians are a problem. Man. <laughs> you know, so yeah, that's wow. nerve wracking because they always beat us. They take our women. They've taken Biano. Yeah, 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 daughter. Everything. They've taken Hillbrow. <laughs> Alice. So, yeah, man. But I think when we make it to the semis, we, we, sh- we, we should be able to fend them off. I mean, it's been a tournament of upsets in history. So, yeah, yeah we'll make it. Because, Lady, I know you don't care about soccer, but who's your money on? Who are you betting on? Well, I'd like to be on, like, Saul's level and be ambitious and believe in South Africa. I think my mind changed mm. after this. I was like, hey, okay, maybe there's a chance. But now you're naming, you know, kind of, I know the strong teams, like Nigeria, for instance, is a strong team. So I, nah, I'm not too sure now. I don't know. But Are people wearing Bafana Fana shirts on Fridays? You know, like they did with the rugby? But I've been seeing people post. It wasn't a thing, but it it's becoming a thing. thing. It's becoming a thing. After yeah. the Morocco victory, it's becoming it's a becoming thing. Yeah, people thing. are wearing... Our sales lady was here. She mm. was wearing a Bafana jersey. Mm. So it's becoming a thing. Wasn't she wearing it even now? Another one. I saw the post when she posted with the other Bafana jersey. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't see that. I saw it today. Today, yeah. She's wearing it. Yeah. It's becoming a thing. It wasn't a pre planned thing because they generally disappoint us. Yeah. But now that they're inspiring yeah. some confidence and inspiration, people are starting to get onto that level of or, or mode of wearing these things on Friday. Uh, speaking about sports, are you ready to catch some sixes? Stand to win your share of two million rands in Bitways, catch two million. <laughs> Uh, competition. All you have to do is take a clean one-handed catch in the crowd and you are a winner. Remember, if you've already got a Bitway account, they will double your win. So let's uh, catch some sixes and uh, see some even bigger wins. If you can't make it to the stadium, Betway still got your back. When it comes to the SA20 cricket action, bet on any Betway SA20 games to enter the Betway's game of zones. Predict the zone where one-handed crowd catch will take place and stand to win your share of 2 million rands uh, that's the grand prize and tickets to the final what they win you win T's and C's do apply Betway is licensed and regulated by the Western Cape, uh, Western Cape Gambling and Racing Board no persons under the age of 18 years are permitted to gamble my dog what's on your mind what, did you, what do you want to talk about that you saw this week damn we'll start like that this yeah, yeah. hey yeah. <laughs> switching it up my man we're switching yeah, it up we're switching it up oh. like, okay. Damn, don't don't get too well. comfortable. You're getting too comfortable, my dog. Please <laughs> <laughs> listen to this guy. <laughs> a lot, man. A lot. A lot. Did you see um, there's a billionaire? I think it's Peter Thiel. He's literally putting his money behind the Olympics uh, where people are going to be allowed to dope. And yeah. it's going to be an actual thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's... I, I'm, I'm for it because I, I believe it... Already we're doing it, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes to... Aesthetics and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, because people are allowed to change their bodies. They've been doing it since time immemorial, even though it's got uh, some health hazards, like previously with tits and 
uh, and silicone with BBLs. I mean, people die under these things. So why mm. can't we push the envelope when it comes to athletics? Mm. You know what I mean? To see how much really you can push a human body. Bodybuilders do it with steroids. So why can't we do it in, in athletics? Think about it. So I hope that goes through. That would be really exciting. It's not dangerous though, Saul. That's just how Well, dangerous. BBLs are dangerous. That's why I just said that. Yeah, but it's not like people are competing on who's, it's not a competition on who's got the biggest butt. You it, see, it's not. <sighs> on social media, in the club it is. You know, and yeah. the girls of BBL, uh, it's unfair. They're competing with girls with natural bodies. How come you guys haven't had BBLs, you ladies? Uh, Where's the nyash? There's no nyash in this room. Uh, what? There is, there is, there is. Oh, oh so has been seeing some nyash nyana, ne? Huh? You see some nyash in this room. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. 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 Times two. I do. To the oh, right. I do. Dudu doesn't have a big nyash. Not Don't big, lie. but for a body, it's, it's, it's. Stand up, it's let's see. I haven't seen it in a while. Let's see. So we will produce some of Produce the goods. <laughs> Fat Checker's got a bigger nyash, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bro, it, it's unhealthy. It's, it's dangerous. But bodybuilders do it. They take steroids. You know? Yes, Mr. Olympia, they've got like, they, they, they check the doping, but uh, a lot of people are still saying, still, you know, the Oaks are still doing it. It's not that stringent. So why can't we do it? And also, these are adults who are saying, I'm willing to put my body on the line to see how much we but can get out of a human body. For me, for me what I foresee, and we're not going to end up seeing people, okay, you're taking steroids or whatever, and it's allowed. Then we start seeing people just drop dead while competing. But they while sign running. Up for it. No, but it just, I feel like it becomes a dangerous game. Now we're going to see bodies drop on the field. But, but because it's, it's one thing, it's one thing that you do all of this and you're just going to stand still. But now you're going to add, because you don't know, there is the, whatever, wherever they are racing, whether they are running or whether, whatever, it's sports at the end of the day. So you don't know what's going to happen during that time when they are performing in that sport. What could happen? Because they could have pushed the envelope and tried to take as much as possible so that they can win. You get what I mean? Bye -bye. I do. Kanye West's mom passed away while getting uh, cos True. cosmetic surgery. Why aren't we stopping cosmetic surgeries? Uh, there's, many, there's many more women who've passed on or while on the mm. table. Why are we not then prohibiting those? It's a cosmetic surgery, I guess. It's 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 it's, it's yourself elect. It's a self elected, you know. And this is not. And being it, part of, not, of doping Olympics won't be because you sign up for it to say, I want to pump this much into my body. I'm, I'm willing to put my, my, my life on the line for it. What's the difference? The thing is, with the platform of after you do that, you're now going to be performing, whereas you are, in, you are racing. And we're going, that's what I'm saying. Don't you foresee that what's going to happen? You're going to see bodies drop. Dying. It's one thing dying while you're not even, while you're doing, taking these steroids and it's not like, we're not seeing it. But now while people are performing, because obviously there's that adrenaline rush that you are, you're trying to win and something, then pa, someone is just dying there. Then we'll be like, oh yeah, maybe it's because of, they took a high dosage of this and that. We see guys dying in Formula One. We see guys dying in other sporting activities, in skiing, for example. Mm. We see Oaks dying in, in, in extreme sports. Yeah, you know, those are extreme sports. You get that, yeah. But I'm just saying, in this case, hey, I foresee it's going to be dangerous. Imagine... I'm all for it, man. When we say the fastest man, then yeah. it must be a conversation of doping or not doping. You know what I mean? And we literally know the fastest man. I think it would be exciting to watch. Yeah. And I hope it goes through eventually because we've allowed so many things that are dangerous to happen within society as well. You know, and these are consenting adults. Mac, what do I you would think? watch it. I'm not really interested in this topic. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What topic are you interested in? No. Oh, so, no, much no, no, for, so much for asking so like, what is on his mind? <laughs> he does that a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not interested. No, but I'm just, like, if you're watching a game, are you interested in watching people who have taken whatever extreme, like, steroids or whatever just to help them perform better? Uh, would you be interested in watching those yeah, people? it sounds like good content. And yeah. the more they drop, the better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the depth. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I man, I would watch Hashtag. it. Mm, mm, mm. It's quite crazy, though. The guys, the, the founders of PayPal are doing the most because that guy okay. is the founder, or like one of the co-founders of PayPal along with Elon Musk. Mm. And he's doing the Neuralink thing. Mm. It's like a chip in your brain that's going to allow you, your brain, to communicate with a computer or machinery, for example, that you're not even touching. How cool is that? Oh, yeah, man. It reminds me, I was thinking during the week, if we had a time travel machine thing, ne? Yeah. 
and we traveled, let's say, to 2050. Hmm. Okay, to the future. Yeah, to the future. Okay. And you're chilling with someone. Okay. What would you tell them of how black people are now in 2024? What would you say to them? Okay, so how people... I don't know. Black people were. I don't get it. Yes. Were. Yes, yes. Okay. Why must I tell them how black people were or are? No, so he's asking, how are black people in 2024? He's sitting with this guy. He's in 2050. And how are black people then? No, how are black people now? So you're giving him the lowdown or how black people are now. What would you say to him? Hey, bro, how do I describe black people? Like, it's difficult to describe black people because mm. that's too v- broad. Black people are black people. Like, but how are they? They're not the same in, in Iceland than they are in South Africa. They're not the same in Santon than they are in. No, Dope. I want to understand in, in what in, context, in though. In what context? Like, yeah. what are you asking in They're, terms of their thinking or yes. their mindset? Yes, yes. So you're in 2050, dog, mm. and this guy is asking you, how were black people back in 2024? I think 2050 is too soon because most likely they'll still be the same. But let's mm. say with 300 years, you know, mm. I'd say they are still um, disenfranchised, a lot of them, and still the world over, you know, uh, discriminated against. And like the effects of oppression and slavery the world over is still felt and we're still getting the raw end of a lot of deals globally mm. period and yeah we we we're, we're a bit far behind mm. uh, very very behind they than, hate each other then yeah cause of that mm-hmm. Co- mainly cause of that mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. we're not really a, a united front and i feel because of such things you know because we're still dealing with the firsts you know the firsts uh, uh, one in the family to achieve X and Y, to do this, to do that, whereas it's not yet a culture and therefore there's a lot of com- competitiveness. But we're still dis- disenfranchised and still trailing far behind because of the history of, mm. of beat apartheid, beat slavery. I mean, in Africa, we don't even own the minerals, even though we're the richest continent. You know what I mean? So that's still where we are. That's the picture of black people in America. People are still getting just shot. So wherever, it's the same story where the, the black man is lesser mm. or seen as lesser by the powers that be, which generally are white controlled. Mm. What do you think, us lady? What would you say? Um, I'll just say, uh, basically, that black people are uh, were liberated. You know, they were able. It's not they were not as oppressed uh-huh. as previously because obviously there's different. There's apartheid, and then there was this phase and mm. that. So I'll just explain it like that, like uh, kind of the build up of this is what were times where this there was change, whether it was political, depending on what happened. So I would kind of like explain of a more of the mindset of black people not just um uh, the 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 poverty stricken whether it's the middle class you know or the rich so that's just where the we there was kind of like not a not balanced but you just had these kind of different minds mm. it was only just one kind of mindset mm. whereas maybe that was pre 1994 did you see that guy uh, who owns louis vuitton and that he's now the richest man in the world did you guys see that i Which saw one? that yeah yeah his name is, is the um ceo yes oh. he's the group leader yeah bernard arnold or something yes uh, he's apparently now the world's richest man eclipsing the likes of elon musk jeff bezos and others he's the ceo of an empire that includes louis vuitton moe and chardonnay Hennessy, Sephora, Christian Dior, Givinci, and a whole lot more, man. Yes, this guy, yes. he's like, just as his catalog is crazy. Wow. Mm. But I don't respect him, though. Why? Why? He never built any of these things. He just bought He them. just bought. Aha. Uh-huh. But what's wrong with that, Mac? That's clever. Good question. That's very, very clever. It's Buying a shortcut. Companies. It's a shortcut. No, no. But it's still selling stuff that people want. Exactly. And he's taking these companies from wherever they were to greater heights. Hennessy has been around for years and it's now still as relevant now more than ever. There have been other brands that fell through the cracks because they lacked leadership such as the, these guys. So you have to give him credit for that. That is good at keeping these companies afloat or bringing some of them to the fore yeah, and actually adding nah. value to them. Nah, I get you, but I respect someone who built something from scratch. No, Mac. You know, like Elon Musk. You know what I mean? I respect that guy. True. No, no, but you, you can also actually... respect someone who, when Elon Musk dies, who's going to keep the companies running and not run them to the floor. Because the average human would run them to the floor, to the ground, I mean. The average human would. Yeah, but what are you running? You're running someone's uh, IP, someone's uh, creativeness. Yeah. But not everybody can start something. 
Yeah, not, everyone not everybody can be respected. Tim Cook. So you don't respect <sighs> Tim Cook? Hmm? You don't respect Tim Cook? No, fuck no, man. That guy's done nothing. It's been the same iPhone for 20 years, bro. But he's improved. What is improved? The MacBook Pro has, has gotten better. The Apple Watch gets better. Ah. A lot of products get better, bro. Come on, man. Anybody else? Look, it takes special skills to keep a company like that. We've seen many companies. Kodak. Mm. Right? Mm. If let's say Kodak was still a, a, around and performing at the highest level, you should respect the guy who did that. Because where's Kodak today? It's gone. Mm -hmm. Because the guy who sat at the helm failed to 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 adapt to uh, you know with technology and the changes in technology. Mm. So there is something that you have to admire with someone who can do that. Because it's still not, like I said the entire human population that's capable of that. I get what you mean, but you can't still take away from the people who are able to sustain things and who are able to lead You can, companies. dog. Without, without all these brands, what would he have? What did he create? He would have done something he else. He didn't create yeah. anything. He didn't create shit, dog. No. Yeah, it's not about creating. Imagine if everyone it in this room... About what do you mean it's not about creating? It, no, no, it is. It's not about creating. It's not. What is it about? Like, there's great power in also buying businesses. Ah. Honestly. Ah. Identifying, yeah, yes. Identifying, identifying businesses. And, and improving power. them. Come exactly. On, guys. That, those are two different conversations. No, but you're like, you put <laughs> respect on someone who built something and then someone and comparing them to someone who just bought. But you're saying you respect someone because they started. Yes. So it's almost like you are about a person must go through the trenches yeah. in order. No. Yes. So so you're you're no. saying you don't respect someone who doesn't build a house from scratch but gets a house there and, just buys and then it. modernizes it, makes it great or maintains it. There's some good in that. Yeah. You can't say you don't respect them because they didn't build their, their, their own house. They bought it and renovated it and made it better. Because a lot of people, given that house, they could keep it the way it is and it could deteriorate over time. Mm. Or someone Fair who checker. was born, who was born rich and it's like, oh, then, then they made, they, with those riches, they were still able to become something big. So it's like, you can't just say, I lack respect because of you already born rich compared to someone who had nothing. Still, everyone deserves their congratulations. You understand? Mm. Uh, Fat checker, you are born rich. <laughs> 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 I wish. <laughs> I wish. Now, I just wanted to correct you about your Elon Musk statement. Mm. Elon Musk did not start Tesla. He joined it in 2004. And Tesla started in 2003 by Martin Edhard and Mark Tepening. And but then he, did he start SpaceX? But he grew it. Oh, he bought Twitter and then changed it into X. Mm. Oh, you're speaking... No, SpaceX. Oh, space 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 <laughs> Sorry. Yes, he did start it. Yeah, what well, about... Yeah, yeah. Steve, Steve Jobs. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. The Do mini iMac. Ah, hmm? There's great respect in starting things yeah. and making them successful. Yep. And there's also great respect in joining a moving train and improving it yeah. or making it better and growing it and keeping it well oiled. Mm -hmm. Those two things can be correct, bro, mm -hmm. at the same time. Okay, no, I get seeing, you. I get seeing, you. You're seeing for basically just seeing an opportunity and riding with it, and it becomes a success, and you are part of that. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 takes it takes a certain yeah. level of talent yeah. to also do that. To pinpoint those, you know. You got me by the house there. I didn't ever come back there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, in a time where everybody has a house, you know, it's, it's, you still congratulate someone for, for buying an existing house than building one. No, somebody's Shit. good at that. Did you guys uh, watch Big Brother this hold week? Hold on, before we move, what would you, how would you describe black people in 2050? Yes. When you took the time machine? Fucked up. Up. <laughs> we all fucked up. How so, bro? We hate one another. Yeah. Uh, our women wanna. Uh, who's this now? It's time. It's uh, Matamela. Oh no, it's, it's okay. We're just recording the biggest podcast in Africa. It's fine. You can just come in. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Don't they say like pregnant women but cause a or something? <laughs> <laughs> And she's heavily pregnant. Oh. <laughs> she's, she's, what? <laughs> she's due anytime soon. Yeah. You're pregnant forever. No, but hey, she's Matame. due anytime soon, right? You choose soon. Are you oh. are you live? Are you going live? Ah, yeah, clima, clima, clima. We don't do that here. Ah, yeah, yeah, clima, 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 clima. Why is she alive? I don't know. Hey, clima, clima, Why are you live? Why are you live though? Why are you live? 
She's doing her job. Which one is this one? Which one is this one now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming with you, undermining us. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh, so I was saying, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We hate one another. Yeah. Uh, this, this jealousy. There's a reason for that. Uh, our, our, our black women want to be like white women. They just do everything that everyone in Hollywood is doing. Uh, we hate each other's tribes. Uh, oh, man, it's just fuckery all over. Uh, There's no unity. Don't you think it would be the same if historically the roles were changed? What white people have been throughout the history of the world, if it were black people and then white people, let's say they were in Africa, they had the resources and we came over to Africa. We took, you know, over. We killed them. There was gen mass genocide and there was apartheid, but it was blacks in charge. You know, you, White you, people with that history, don't you, you think they'll be mentally fucked Yeah, but well? you, you, you're talking about the effects. I'm talking about the product of 2024. This is what I'm seeing. True, but there's underlying issues that cause that. Yeah, we're, we're not talking about, about the, the issues. The, the, the symptom. I'm talking about the causes. Aye. If it were a different race... With the same causes, the symptoms would still be the same. You talking about the symptoms? Yes. But there's a reason for that. It's yeah, not, we're not because, talking about it's not the because reason. we're born when we're born. They're like, let me inject you with some negativity <laughs> and jealousy <laughs> for your own people. You yeah. know what I mean? It's an environment but in which it, it, a lot of black people are raised. Yeah, but it doesn't change that. That's how I see black people now in 2024. It's a fact. That's how they are. Yes. But we're not talking about why. Just, yes. He's not asking. The okay. guy's not asking why. He's why? Asking, that are, yeah. All facts. Yeah. yeah. That's a. Very honest picture. Yeah. 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 yeah I got you back, man. Do you, do you have no, anything no, else? <laughs> no. It's, 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 one one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about that, man. Come on. But yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. You're right. That's the picture. That's the grim picture. Yeah. And if yeah. they ask for, okay, what was positive about black people then? What would you Ooh, say? Good question. Ooh, what was positive? We definitely know how to have fun. Ah. We know how to entertain. It sounds like you're going to say, oh, we could dance. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can't. We can't. <laughs> Whoa. Um, shit, with all that we've been through, like, we always find a way to just push forward, man. We're resilient. Resilient. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one, man. Yeah. And generally, I think we are God's favorite people, man, because we are just nice people, man. Like, we're incredible. We're incredible. Yeah. You know, as a species, like, we take so much shit and, and, and we still come out strong. But we're not the bank's favorite people. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Point of interest yeah. You're right We're not we Did you want a loan recently? That one day. Did you want a loan recently? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, she, She's been on this tip Even before we recorded Because I suggested We must get Emerald Fanzel And she was like Yeah let's get Emerald Fanzel Because he yes. does amazing work In exposing How banks are unfair uh, To black people When it comes to the interest They charge us On our car loans And our bonds And just general loans All together And she's been like On it You know so It's possible You got rejected Hey. No, no, not even. I didn't. It's just, Nothing just, wrong with getting rejected for no, the, a long. Yeah, but but I, you I, see what I'm saying about... It happened. You remember <laughs> he told us. <laughs> but but happened. you see what I'm saying about resilience? We all know that. All black people know that we're getting screwed by the banks, but we still go there. Push through. Ish. We still well, go there. because we don't have our own banks. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I mean? We don't have just our keep own it banks. moving. Yeah. I mean, that uh, scandal of theirs, they admitted and nothing happened, dog. They just got fines and they keep it moving. Yeah. You know, it's fucking Sadly. wild. Yeah. Um, I was saying, did you watch Big Brother this week, man? Apparently, I missed out. Uh, I, I didn't watch it, but I heard what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Uh, Liema, so one of the girls in the house, Liema, spat on a guy, I think, twice. Oof. And uh, slapped him, if I'm not mistaken, over an argument. Oof. Yeah, it says, yeah, uh, Big Brother Mzanzi keeps tongues wagging this week. As a female contestant named Liama got in a fight with housemates, it escalated as she began physically assaulting a male contestant and Ooh. spitting in his face. Oh. Social media calls for another disqualification, stating that if it were a male who assaulted a female, he would have been disqualified and cancelled. I wanted to bring this up last week, that when they cancelled that guy, which is rightfully so, right? But don't you think it was going to now open up a can of worms in terms of when something does something untowards that people don't like, it's going to be like, they must be disqualified as well. Remember? Remember we spoke about it last mm. week? We did. But I don't think people are, are calling for the disqualification because the president has been set that uh, if you step out of line, you must get disqualified. Spitting in someone's face is disgusting and it's demeaning. Let's mm. be honest. Yeah. You know, and I don't see it having a place in the Big Brother Is it worse house. than, come here, is it worse than this one? Come here. Is it worse than? 
way worse. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, that one. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Wait, wait, that one is like they're taking you for Popeye, literally, dog. Yeah, but like, it's not, yeah. So you'd rather get spat on than this. Which one would you prefer? Yeah, 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 is that what you're saying, bro? Spat on, you can... Ah, no, Mac. <laughs> Spat on, bro. Let me think about it. Let me think. About it. <laughs> Not in a kinky manner, also, right? Not in a kinky way. Not as a kink. Come on, exactly. bro. Spat on, you can forgive it. Nah. Maybe if someone says it was an act out of rage, you know, like at that, that moment. So, so at that moment, <laughs> I couldn't control my emotions. And that's what led me to do that. Mara, to do that, you are intentionally knowing, okay, cool, I am about to disrespect this person yeah. and this is my intention. So spitting can be unintentional, like act out, out of rage. You know what I mean? No, Mac, man, it's no, still intentional. It's still intentional. You walk up to a person, you don't just find yourself spitting in their direction. Oh, bro, there's things that happen in the, when you're raging, nah, that you can't control. That's the nah, same. No, 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 person bullshit. also say the same that thing. That is bullshit. That, that happened just out of, it was uh, like because of my rage. No, you don't, you don't just uh, stand there and uh, you have to like walk to the person, touch their forehead and then, my man, like there's spitting, so many, you have to so many spit. emotions. No, Before bro. Before you get no. this. With a spit, you can just go, ah, No, 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 no. You need to get close to them. You don't spit from 30 meters <laughs> exactly. and hit the person's yeah. face. And then when you generate amati. Yeah, like mm. Ho, 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 ho. then push them back and aim, you know what I mean? And then <laughs> unleash and open your mouth and take aim for the face. Chillers are right. Imagine. The podcast is are fine. We're arguing about spitting in. Uh, yeah, bro. Uh, no, 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 bro. <laughs> so are you saying that girl is justified to spit in someone's no, face? I'm not, because uh, I'm saying if which one would I choose between? For me, that one is more disrespectful, bro. So that one is a disqualifiable offense over spitting in the face in the Big Brother house. And the slap? If you were Big Brother and making the rules. Nah, nah, obviously not. Yeah, bro. Obviously not. Look, it's not the most demeaning behavior. Look, there's other... He could, she could have shat on him. She could have pissed on him. You know what I mean? But this time she spat on the guy and I feel like that is... You, it doesn't even warrant a, a, a warning. It's like, ah, you're out. Nah. Ah, for me, it's like you're out, man. And like, also, and also how do you slapping. spit on someone's face, bro? Like, but she's got some mean girl behavior. That girl, hey, mm. she's very like mean girl. You know those what mean else girls she, at high school. What did she do? Uh, she was this. She, she's dating a guy, right? And then this guy, he also likes this other girl, but the other girl is not so great looking. She's like a grenade. Okay. So she <laughs> kept saying, "Oh, I'm hotter than you know." Like those mean girl vibes. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Trying yeah. to put her down because she's yeah. prettier. Yeah, like all she her go to thing is I'm prettier than her. Mm. What? Maybe that's why the guy looked somewhere else, you know, because mm. she's all about her prettiness. And I don't get people like that because, it's like, well, with all those looks, we are glad are still by an ugly person. You know, that says more about you also. Uh, not that it's entirely her fault. The yeah. guy also chooses, but clearly the guy is not sa satisfied by you, bro. Do you think a big brother you could chat like three girls at the same time? Now, yeah. Then, mm -mm. at the same time as in foursome. No, 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 no. As in, like date in the house three, Mara. They don't know. Nah, the house is, nah, that's not possible. You the can, house is too small, bro. bro. Can, bro. The house is too. What do you shag and no one sees you? Whether you net on a pants or machete, someone sees you. How because how many rooms are there at the end of the day? Yeah, there's was like two main rooms. The last time I checked, mm. where the guys sleep here, the ladies sleep Bro, you, here. This thing is you simple. You can sleep with no, anyone, though. This thing is simple. It's not about rooms. You have you have the main chick, right? That everybody knows in the house, right? Okay. Then you get a side one. Who mm. You tell her, listen, nah, green, green, I want you. Mm. But you see, I'm already with this one. But I'm going to leave here for you. Mm. Well, what? And then you get one for after hours. Where after hours and even sleeping, you know it's me and you. My <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, hey, you're watching, you're dissecting Big Brother. I know. I'm you. All those girls are thirsty, bro. Now, nah, you can formulate the plan, you won't execute it, Mac. Let's be honest. Bro. I wish I could go in that house. I promise you, it's possible. Girls, my kumaganga are footy. There's no girls who can child in secret in Big Brother. Exactly. No, girls, no girls, girl. girls. And also, remember, girls, girls, girls are never the ones that do the talking. It's the niggas. The niggas ring too much. Nah, bruh, it's not happening. That says a lot about the guys then. You know? And then what you also do is you get the, the, the side chick, ne? must be the chick that the main chick hates. Because then the side chick will get with you to prove a point to the main. 
Bro, yeah. you can do that in a community, you know, like in any state, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> fuck, fuck Not eight women. You can do that. Uh, fuck eight women in the same state, right? Yeah, and they man. see one another, know one another. Maybe they don't talk to one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah. but in the house, forget you can't. it. Right? You can't. Especially because there's cameras. None of these girls want to be. You've shagged, you know, in front of cameras. A lot of them, in fact. No, I mean, as it's, thirsty as they are. Don't, don't dim it down to just shagging. I'm saying you could get away with it, though. You could have three girlfriends in the house. I promise you. If you're you smart. can't. And you laid no, low. If, you, if you're not, putting, if you're not um, uh, uh, putting it to shagging, then I get what you mean. Like, it's just breaks. If you're having flings and flirting. All without and, sex. Yeah. If it may sex, lead to, if it if it leads to if that, it leads, it does. Leads to okay. that. So how do you how, so with your main girl, mm-hmm. how do you then sit and then have a fling with somebody else and sit for hours in the jacuzzi with somebody else and you've got a main girl that's known to everyone in the house and outside? Like I said, you, you target the one who the main girl hates. They don't get along. Because they'll never talk. They'll never mm. talk. But people will see you with the other girl and they'll tell the, your oh, girl. Oh, it's challenges, my man. We are doing challenges. We are mm. prepping for the house team, yeah. whatever thing. That I we get what you mean. Man, I've, I've, I've got experience, more experience than you <laughs> in the house. Please take my word for it. When I say it will yeah, never work. It's like losing the like my many experience, of <laughs> experience of Boon and Brick, brother. Please, it will never work. I watch it more than you, bro. Yeah. I've studied this game. Yeah. Ah, it don't work, man. Because that, so it also, work, like, that was 10 years ago. Mm. Maybe now, uh, what Mac is, because he's, he's currently watching. Yeah, why didn't you get any bumps, Doc? Hey? Why didn't you get any bumps? Uh, I tried. Cat didn't want to give me bumps. I failed to get bumps. So we have the same experience. <laughs> Of no bums. <laughs> oh, you tried getting bums from cats? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, nah, no, I've no never bums. Made cats, no, I, I didn't get bums, bro. I tried to get a bum. So, bombs. how is the experience similar? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We He's both, we both didn't get bumps, bumps and I haven't on been Big in. Brother. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. Him and I haven't gotten bumps on Big Brother. That's the punchline. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Nah, not happening, bro. Okay. But oh, honestly, no. I feel like if it was a guy who's, who's pat on a girl's face, oh, yeah. it's Carnage. a different story altogether. Carnage. You know what I mean? And I think women also need to be held accountable for their actions as well, you yeah. know? Especially, like, I think Big Brother missed... An, an opportunity, you know, uh, but I think does, that was bullshit. Behavior. Does it not fall under assault, though, what she did? It doesn't fall under it's, assault. It falls under Sia <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, the hashtag, you know? Yeah. Do that Sia Mosha thing. You are right, eh? Yeah. Masazo Mosha. Masazo Mosha. Masazo Mosha. Nah, Anything. Man, was... I don't think we'll have a big brother coming back. It'll just be cancelled after this. Yeah. But I think this it falls rate. under maybe criminal injuria, maybe. Whoa. Yeah. And eh? Yeah, it's criminal injury, definitely. Man. What's you that? Spit. You've, you've explained it before, criminal injury. Like stripping someone of their dignity, Whoa. essentially, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like if I pull down your pants in public, let's say on Big Brother, that would qualify as criminal injury, I think. Mm. So, yeah, it does, definitely, man. It's it's foul. Yeah, that is foul. That's foul what she That's did. Not it's, nice. it's not nice at all. Anyway, on a lighter note, there's a new condom. Town, there's a new, new condom in town. Oh, next town. Oh, come on, next town. If there's a new condom in town, let's yeah. go. And uh, it's launching for the very first time on Podcast and Chill oh. South Africa. We would like to introduce to you your best and your newest wingman, Score Condom. Oh. 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 my daughter. Give me the yellow pack, please. So they've got the blue one is dotted and ribbed condoms. Mm. And then they've got ultra fine condoms, Ooh, which yeah. are these ones. Ah, and then they've also got Climax Delay. Which one are you? Are you Climax blue? Yellow? I'm a yellow guy, bro. I'm a, I'm a thinnest how, how in do you this delay range. A climax? Uh, you'll have to try it to find out. Yay! Yeah. 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 Why are you curious in that one? <laughs> Why are you curious in that one? Because I've never had such. Why you cur- <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Never- a climax delay. How does that? No, please explain. Yeah, yeah. Just- it's for guys who come fast, man. Yeah. Oh. It's- yeah, it's for guys who yeah. come fast. Yeah. So it's like blocks the cum. <laughs> Try it. All condoms block the cum. You know that, right? Listen. <laughs> Listen, I you got a whole know. box. You can try it okay. all, all okay. of this week. No, no. And then come and tell us how it works. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the white box. Yeah, you take yeah, the white I'm box. I'm taking the white box. <laughs> no, nah, man, I like the skin feeling, you know, on a yeah. condom. Like, yeah, so Ooh. thin, definitely. Yeah, nothing beats thin, man. Nothing, bro. Yeah. Ooh. Thin, ultra, ultra thin. Oh, man. Ooh. Is that the right size? You need a bigger size? <laughs> I don't know. Let, want me to try it on now? <laughs> no, it's one know. size fits all. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's one size fits all. <laughs> so they got a cool campaign that they're running, right? Score. Mm. Uh, we are looking for the ultimate celebrity hookup. Ooh. So what people have to do is uh, just follow us on social media. We're going to put a post about score condoms. And they must tell us which celebrities they'd like to hook up. Oh, wow. And then score condoms is going to become hashtag Mzanzi's ultimate wingman. So what we're going to do on the uh, oh, Thursday no. episode, wherever the chillers choose, we're going to get the, the celebrities to hook up on, on, on Thursday. Oh, Tom, so us and the chillers and the rest of South Africa are like the wingman helping this guy to score. Yes. Oh, oh yes. great, man. So you guys must determine which celebrities you want to see this coming Thursday for the ultimate celebrity hookup. Let us know, comment, and then we'll hook them up and meet them and do the show on Thursday. And yeah. I think that's a cool campaign, I right? That's a nice dope, man. one. Let's try to get someone like sophisticated, open-minded, a score guy, you know what I mean? Yes. Who cares about pleasure, not just for himself, mm. but even for the crowd as well, you know? Because, yes. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, let's. I wonder who we're going to get. Like Sounds like you're talking sells. about us, but we'll be... Yeah, we, yeah. Can, we can't be involved, guys. We can't be... Ah, yeah, In fact, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, invite, yeah. let's invite the couple, the celebrity couple yeah. that's going to get hooked up. Yeah, let's yeah. invite them on the show. I think that yeah, would be yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Let's no. see if there's actual chemistry there, because that's where it all starts, with the chemistry. I've been trying to open this up. <laughs> so where can the chillers like literally just um share who they want? Where? On all our social platforms? Yeah, all our social Under the platforms. Hashtag, no? Yeah. Oh, okay. And the hashtag is hashtag Mzanzi's ultimate wingman. And you so, can name um, anyone you want. Hey, you can tell we don't use condoms, eh? Hey. Ah. Yeah, you don't use condoms. Sorry. You don't use condoms. You don't use condoms. You don't use Oh, oh, that's what you're doing. Right, right, right. Oh, it's pure. And it's pure. It's a pure. It's a pure. It's a pure. chief. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Shining and Vince McMahon. Raw. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. So, Lushate Nova. I'm not married, but I'm very uh, committed, you know? Um, <laughs> yes. And, uh, yeah, these are dope, man. Yeah. When last did you use so condoms, So, how many bro? are in the pack? Wait. When last did I use condoms? Oh. Ah, oh, it's been a minute. It's been a minute, no? Mm. Yeah, yeah. How many are in the pack? Mm. Three. Ah, it's not a while. Hey, yeah, it's not a while. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while oh, since I've Oh, damn. You, you've got things to dispose in. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Disposable let's say you, pouch, yeah. Yeah, so you're doing a, a hookup and you're outdoors and you don't want to ruin the environment. When you're <laughs> done with your stuff, you just... Wait in there. Slotted in here. Mm. Oh. I like these cool condoms. It's three. One for each girl in the Big Brother house. <laughs> the one for your dreams. <laughs> so dope. Anyway, Ghost Lady, what you got for us, man? Guys, there's a whole story. Who's been scoring? Because I know my Pepe and I was going to tell us someone is dating this week. Yeah. Who's been scoring? Um, who's been scoring? Ah, no, no. They, oh, okay. we, don't, we don't know who's scoring. Oh. Skomota didn't score? Nah, they're playing with him, Jay. Didn't you see some... He, he's wearing an ANC t-shirt. They're trying to use him. Ah, oh, that's so sad. I didn't like that images of Skomot. But he's, he's scored more gigs, you know, as you can <laughs> see. He's more. <laughs> yeah, I like this more. <laughs> he's, scoring, he's scoring more gigs. I saw the ANC thing, right? But he was fast asleep. The pictures of I saw him fast asleep there under the tent. So what's the aim behind that? So if Skomoto wears an ANC shirt, we're all going to vote ANC? I, I think so. They were really trying. Well, they used the Skomoto friends and they're trying to hop on it, I guess. I mean, you saw even Bafana Bafana doing the Skomoto dance. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's the whole thing. It's, that was a blue tick. That was like, I know he's arrived. No, he's yeah. verified. Yeah, he's verified, verified yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. yeah. I still can't do You'd it. You'd be silly. Do it. The dance. The dance. I don't know how to do it. I've never even tried doing it. It it's... must look like you have epilepsy or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, you do. It's... Yeah, like then you shake your yeah, head, your, 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 your just, knees or that. wiggle them. Yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can do that one. No, you can't. You guys are just, you can't dance. You'll never be able to do that. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Like so which you... dance, which dance would you guys able to do? The old challenges that have come. Uh, this one, I used to do this one. <laughs> Inguas, that's Inguas, yeah? yeah. Inguas. The, oh, toilet. That, that, was, no, toilet, uh. that was 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I can't dance. That was literally Miss before me. my piano. Are, are there any my piano dances you can do? Fuck no, man. Fuck no. Which one? Oh, the. Mac, try it. Hola, <laughs> 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 Mac. Kombelan is his new name now. Kombelan. 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 Oh, okay, man. guys. Did you we hear the make story? people dance, man. Who? We make people dance. 
Okay. We are DJs. You're not supposed to know how to dance. You must make it ah, dance. Just, with the, the trend dance, right now. With the yeah, trend. DJs dance, As a DJ, you must go step there on the stage and do something. You've never and... seen Philo Lati. They dance. These yeah. Days, these days. And now that's why I get a PBR and I'm like, my man dance there. <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy who plays your piano, yeah? yeah? <laughs> I'll play the music. You dance. You see? Man. That's the pressure right there. Yeah, well, now you need someone to dance. Hmm? Yeah. What you got for us, Ghost Lady? So, guys, um, my Porisa, did you see that live? So um, he basically said, if you record at his studio, mm-hmm. your songs are automatically his. <coughs> He's so, right. Yeah? He's right. Technically, yeah. Okay. But this is the reasoning also. He said, if he buys you food, pays for the electricity at the studio automatically, obviously. So those are also the reasonings, right? Um, then the person who came back to that and obviously was against that was ooh, um, Prince KB. Prince KB, yes. come here, hello. <laughs> so obviously he was just ridiculing that, like, how, how come on? Why would someone, like, speak like that? You know, we're in a day and age where you have to give people their, you know, it's the whole master's thing. And, you know, just yes, yes, you, yes. you can't just take ownership of everything. He's right there as well. True. Mm. And then, but I also saw another live, not even a live, um, of Uma Porisa almost kind of saying that he was joking. Why do people take him so serious? Ah, he wasn't joking, no, no, man. No, he wasn't joking. He wasn't joking. He was in his ever, feelings there. I don't there. think he ever said that. Did oh, he say he was joking? Oh, yeah, oh, no, but no, no, he was just saying, why do people... He didn't say I was... It kind of insinuated. Oh, okay, was, get that live. I didn't see that one. I saw the one where he was having a rant, but I didn't see yes, that Yes, he did have a rant. And later on, there was a video. It's like, why do people take everything, you know, like so serious wow. and just like, oh, you know, you don't have to take everything that a white person says. And then obviously made a mockery of about a, um, a Prince KP just like with his nudes, like, you know. A <laughs> porn star. A porn star. <laughs> porn star that like, was funny. You know, yeah. so, <laughs> ouch, you know. So that was when he... Came, his comeback. They came for him. Yeah, yeah they, they came, came for him, you know. So, uh, unfortunately. And you know when Pori says in Kaspitori, it hurts even more. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's why I said, hey, it was a bit like, Whoa. it was no, tough. Issue number one, when you do record at someone's studio, they own the masters. Mm. Yeah, that is true. It's been true for the longest time ever. Mm-hmm. And then him mentioning the Nandos, whatever. I think it was he wasn't mentioning like specifically what he buys him food. He's just trying to say that there's a cost implication to you recording into my house. Yeah. Mm. So the, the 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 mic, the the speakers, you know. And then he just mentioned the food, whatever. But yeah. he's trying to say that there's a cost implication. And then uh, 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 um, uh, Prince KB replying is also right because <clears throat> the music system was built to exploit artists, mm-hmm. right? Mm, mm. Now. As an artist yourself, like Pori, who's been in the trenches, uh, 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 you know, started making music from the back room or whatever, been through the journey of being an artist and now he's... Also getting exploited. Also getting exploited. And then now he's a big boy in the big rooms. You would think that someone with that power would want to change the system. Yeah. Not champion the same system that's exploiting people. Mm. So, because he has the power to change it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Which is what Prince KB, I think, was trying, was to, trying do. to say. Yeah. To yeah. say, if you have that power where you can not exploit people because that's how people have been doing business yeah. for years, exactly. then try not to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how the game has always been. You know what I mean? And it, I've always said, we've said this before that the deal between a record label and an artist is exploitative. It does not make it right, though, but it's exploitative. And generally, record labels, sometimes you may go with a, a, a finished product, yeah. you know, um, a whole album, and then they will offer you to give you money for the production cost, meaning now they will own the master because they've paid for that master yeah. or they've paid for the creation mm. of that master. Yes. And bear in mind, when Pori says that if you come to his place and record there, use his money, Mics, uses electricity and everything, he will own the master. Mm. Now there's two like main rights involved in a song when you create a song. Mm. There's the master rights and then there's copyrights. And within copyrights, then you're going to have the mechanical rights, you're going to have the performance rights. Now a producer or a songwriter will always fall within the, 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 the copyright part of things, meaning your intellectual property is still attached. Masters simply mean it's the guy who's, who can decide to uh, license the stuff out, who can decide how this recording is going to get exploited. Now, there are times when it depends what kind of deal you have also with your record label, where an artist or a producer can be part of those rights as well. Mm. So Porter is not saying that he's not 
he's the only one who's going to benefit from the mm. recording. He simply is saying he owns the rights, uh, the master rights, because he funded the creation of that uh, 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 master. However, other people's men- intellectual property, creativity went into play as well. And then due to that, they are also entitled to the 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 the, the the royalties that come from the copyrights being played on air and uh, the CDs with the still But he doesn't do that. Sales. But he doesn't do that, bro. What do you mean? He doesn't give them their fair share of the split sheets. He keeps everything. Everything. That's, yeah, so he keeps the, the master rights yes, and the copyrights. Yes. Is that, okay, I don't know. I heard him say I own the master. I don't know about copyrights, but I'm saying when it comes to the split sheets. Copyrights are the split sheet. The split sheets speaks to the copyrights. Yeah, then he owns everything. Yeah, then he doesn't share it accordingly. That's why his name is on every song that yes, comes from but, his label. But 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 he's then part of the copyrights. But the other names are also there. When you go on Spotify, the other names don't get shit, dog. When you go, on, are you for real, dog? That guy's a vampire, bro. He feeds <sighs> from the youth. Hey, me, I thought he's just referring no. to. I heard him talk about masters. No, dog. That guy's a vampire, my man. <sighs> <sighs> so the right thing is greedy. That guy, my man. The right thing to do would be to share the split sheets accordingly. Yeah. But he doesn't do that. He does the whole thing of it's I'm pouring, I'm putting you on, so I'm taking hundred <gasps> percent of all the rights that of are attached everything. to the song. Yes. Master rights, copyrights. Yes. And, uh, and if sync. I'm lying, and if I'm lying, ask him to produce a split sheet. Uh, let's see it. All of them, dog. <sighs> That's why these boys are crying. Because, like, for example, uh, the, the, Which the, the boys. Everyone that he works with, man. All these Everybody? kids. Yeah, dog. Have you ever heard any, anyone say nice thing about Pori? Working with Pori. Everyone that leaves him has always got bad things to say. And people that are still in there have bad things to say. Well, what are the, you know when it was a red flag Damn, for me? that's foul. You know what was a red flag for me? Yeah. The moment you have to start counting how much good you're doing for other people, that's a red flag. No, but sometimes you are made to count because people are ungrateful. No, sometimes. no, no, dog. If you're doing the right thing, the people will speak for you. They will speak for you. They will say, no, this guy really put me on. He did one, two, three. Mm. Not he, like, why are you counting? Okay, yeah. Okay, I hear when you why, say Why, why are you counting? keeping count? Because it means that you are not doing it from the goodness of your heart. You are doing it because you know what you are doing is wrong. And you have to now uh, explain, or okay. It's like, the bro. Fami- families are like, eating. Yes, yes. Like it's like it's like you and your husband, right? How many good things do you do for him? But do you keep count? No. Because you're doing it from the goodness of your heart. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. But the moment you guys are fighting, you're like, yeah, Mara, I do this for you, I do that for you. It means oh, you're not doing it from your heart. You're not really putting people on like you say you are. You are doing it so you can look good. Mm. Do you get me? Yeah. Hey. I get you, I, but sometimes, and but I'm not you must defending be able to defend here, right? yourself, but though, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. if someone says, "What have you done?" Bro, for example, right, bro. The moment you have to start doing that is a problem. For example, say now me, ne? Uh, I'm like, I, let's say I'm like, nah, fuck it. I'm leaving the podcast, and then I go out there and be like, Mac didn't do shit for me. Mac this, Mac that, Mac this. You're, you're in a position whereby you, you will to. need to say, oh, but guys, here how it, here's how it is. And, lay, and later on, ah, why? Why? you weren't doing it to why? keep score. Why? You weren't doing it to keep score. No, but, but you know you know what I've done. True, I don't need to say but anything. I'm denying it publicly. Uh, yeah. It's fine, but at the Uxala, you, need, you know. Yes, ah, you understand. Man. It's like it's but like sometimes it's a right of reply. Other people yeah. feel like it's a other right people of reply. Feel, other people feel like ah, they need to come out guys. publicly and say it would be This guy must. But who saw? Not so, not so, not so. I don't get what he's saying. Where is it coming from? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about Poland. I'm just speaking about everyone who's ever come out in public to say. But this is what I've done for this person who's not slandering my name in public, bro. <sighs> that's fucked up. Uh, what's his name? Aya did that, bro. Aya, when he left here, he went on all these podcasts and did a, did a whole PR campaign saying all this bullshit. But not once did we sit here and say we did this for him. We did that for him. It was but, because but he we, knows. But if we did that, we're well within our rights. Exactly. Or if yeah. you did that, you're well within your rights. Yeah, but yeah, you are. But I'm saying it doesn't mean you have to. For me, it's a red flag. And it doesn't mean that you weren't doing it out of an honest heart yes, now that you're mentioning it. Yes. Unless you're mentioning it every corner without any argument having ensued and you're like, oh, no, I'm cocking. I went to hell. Like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, then, yeah. But sometimes you need to defend yourself as, as, as a person as well. No, dog. For what reason? You know what I did. 
So why must I go on public and say a name? But that's your personality, man. Yeah, that's just this is the way I see it. Mm, mm, for me, that's a red flag. The moment it's... you start saying, I did this for you, Kandi, why were you doing it? Were you not doing it because you want to help me? Mm. Mm. But it's fucked up then if Pori's not even giving the kids He's performance not, royalties, dog, like dog. when their song plays, because Sambro collects royalties. Pori wants the whole pie, dog. So even these when kids they, don't get shit from Sambro? Even when they get bookings, you have to if you want to book an artist from Pori, you have to go under lock. Which means he gets a percentage from a booking for all his artists, which is fucked up, dog. Because artists eat from gigs, so yeah, give them yeah, the yeah, gigs, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, give yeah. them the gigs to man, to uh, to run on their own. To run on their own, bro. Mm. There was a campaign uh, DSTV wanted to do with popcorn and cheese, like a, a nationwide tour, or whatever. Yeah, and we were like, as Podcast and Chill Network, yes, popcorn and cheese is under our umbrella, mm. but our agreement is for the podcast. Mm -hmm. So whatever happens outside of the podcast, even though it might start from the podcast, podcast, we have nothing to do with it. Yeah. So if they want to take popcorn and cheese on the road, whatever, they must talk to popcorn and cheese and strike a deal with them. Mm. But if now you are being greedy, then it's like, okay, we need a piece of that tour uh, money as well. Oh. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. That's just being greedy now, bro. Mm. If you're really helping people on, dog, you are talking about people recording from your studio and when they record from your studio, you own the masters. Okay, dog, you one bag of yours can buy all these kids' studios. Buy them kids' studios if you really want to help them so they can own their own masters. Mm. But he can't because he needs the kids so that uh, 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 he can make more money. When was the last time Paul released a song? Ali Wan. One. One man. Just DJ Maburis. Give me one name. One song. No. <laughs> there isn't because the kids are his livelihood. The kids are the but ones that, that make Isn't money. that his business though? Yeah, but it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. Hence I said, if you know how fucked up and how exploitive this business is, when you have that power, do the right thing, dog. Do the right thing. This guy, what's his name? Uh, Mac Lopez, right? I'm like, ah, dog, I love, I love your shit. Love your vibe. We pushed him. We helped him, you know. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. We released a song, We're Along Together. I have no shame in that. No, I'm not in the split sheets. I'm like, ah, dog, it's all yours, bro. Because mm -hmm. this is your livelihood, but I'll help you push it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's me trying to change. If I was being exploitive, I would have said I own 100% because released through my distribution channel. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But obviously, I'm not as big as Pori. So, like, it's, it's, it's very small change. But I'm saying, when you're in a position where you can do the right thing, do the fucking right thing, bro. We've been exploited so long. Mm. But what if in his defense, he feels like he's doing the right thing? How? The right thing is give the kids what they deserve. Put them in the split sheets. When they have bookings, let them eat from the bookings. He knows that's how uh, artists but eat. But he will say then, you know, and I'm playing devil's yeah. advocate. Look at a Daliwonga. Look at a young star now. Look at a Kabza. He's changed those guys' lives. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the good he's done. Because piano was just piano. He had a huge role in making it big as well. And he's changed those kids' lives. Even bro, though, as you say, he's still exploiting a lot of them. Bro, no one is taking away from the good that he has done. I mean, just look at Kabza. Look at everybody else that he's helped, right? Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that uh, 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 um, he's a leech, right? Like, he, 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 he looks at what's hot, ne? sucks all the energy. He doesn't mm -mm. build anything. He doesn't build anything. <laughs> Going back to where we started. <laughs> you understand? Look at Shasha, dog. He sucked Shasha dry, threw her to the, to the dogs. Mm -mm. Uh, what's her name? There's a vocalist as well. Um, I'm, uh, I'm a ningi ningi. She did that song. Um, beautiful girl, man. What's her name? Buntle Smith, yeah. Buntle Smith. Suck Buntle Smith on to the next one. That's what he does. No, but what if in those cases you find that the people, they got money, but they were not able to take themselves to the next level. So it's like, I cannot like feed you and also carry you. You also have to do the work to build yourself. Like you've got the platform, do what you got to do. So he's left with maybe the success stories of the, whoever were counting your Gabsas and so forth. They were able to, with what, you, with what I gave you run the opportunity, you're able to run. The rest, maybe it's just like they get comfortable and it's fine. Like, let me just stay in the studio. Let me just do this more. And that's where it's like, okay, if that's what you want, it's fine. I will use you here because that's what you want. You just want to stay here. 
Ah, Gosling, you're not hearing what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that, yes. No, no, she's saying some people fall through the cracks, not yeah. by the doing of Maporisa or, or, or she shoved yeah. them to the side. Maybe they don't have the work ethic of a Kabza. Yes. Maybe that, I think that's what she's yeah, trying, trying to, to say. Because yeah. yes. we, now we're going to speculate. We don't know. We don't know. Other, unless Until an artist comes up, speaks. we don't but, know, but, honestly but, speaking. But what, what, we can't what, assume their downfall was at his hand. Mm. But what, what, what that's, the, that's the mark of a good leader. That's the mark of a good leader. If I'm really going to lead you, then you have to excel. Ah, uh-uh, Mac. You, you have to. You can't take on that responsibility. Mac. That- There'll be few people who will get what you want, and there'll be others who will not get it. Even Jesus couldn't. Because both have got it. Both Dalio and Boyan yes, Stan have got it. You cannot. Even All these other room. artists here signed, and they've been coming up. Both fairly T, you know what I mean, from his camp got it. It's like with the podcast. There's some people exactly. who, who fell by the wayside as the podcast okay, okay, emerged. Okay. You know what Even I mean? people that you currently they have. They falling can't be because you are a bad leader, no. for example. Yeah. So even currently, you may have like people around you, but not everyone but, is going to succeed. But, 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 and you but may you, be right. I'm not saying we're speculating. Way, but, but you may be right. Here's the thing. You may Kanye. be wrong. Here's the thing. I'm saying, Ori, Pori doesn't get into business with an artist to help them, to help them grow. Ah, he, 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 he works with people that he's going to make money from. So it's all about money at the end That's of the business. day. That's a business. That sounds yeah. to me like someone who's just business minded. Exa- and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. But in the same light... That's where I'm saying they change. That's where the change starts. Instead of just looking at it as, okay, cool, this person is hot. If I do a song with them, I'm going to make money. Because mm. his, 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 his currency is relevant. That's Super. how he still gets bookings and all that stuff, right? Yeah. So now, when he's hopping from whoever's hot to another, that's the mark of someone who's just doing business. That's, that's, that's every label, though. Literally. But it shouldn't that's be that's like that. Every record label. But it shouldn't be like that. You though. identify who's hot now. You hop onto the bandwagon. You sign them. You exploit them as much as you can. And then, that's if so they on the side are pushing their name and become doesn't someone, make big, right. doesn't like make it right. Doesn't make it right. Black was signed by Kalawa. Doesn't make it right. Clap of Mapuri and Clap was signed by Kalawa. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened to Clap, but we know what happened to Black Coffee. Mm. Even though you can't clap. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to clap by AKA and managers AKA though, so he can clap. But you see what I mean? Like, things happen. Artists uh, are artists at the same time, bro. They also don't put in the work as well. They also, you know, record labels, Mac, exploit you and give you the platform, but they will exploit you. The world over, any record label, because you come with your talent, they will come with the resources. And those resources, they will own majority, if not all your masters. It's fucked up if they're not giving you the performance rights and the mechanical rights, which as a creative, you are entitled to because you are part of the copyright creation of a song. They were responsible for the master recording of that song. You know, so if you're saying Pori's even delving to here, that he's fucked up for that. You know what I mean? And any record label that does that is fucked up for that. But record labels since time immemorial have been taken advantage of artists and that's what the the because they need to recoup their their, their 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 investment into an artist. Every label by default. That's why me, I don't like people are like, hey, can you sign them like that have no business owning a record label? Because you're gonna put in your work, I'll put in a, a bit of resources, and then I need to make my money back. Yeah, but so you therefore can't, I'm you gonna can't, need you, to exploit you, you, you. You can't say I'm growing this thing, I'm trying to help people. And then when people come, they still start at the same level that you started at, which is getting exploited and whatever. Where is the growth in that? Like you have so much knowledge. It, it should be uh, where, the artists that are starting now should be starting at a better place than where you are. So, okay, if you started and there were no studios and you had to go to Kalawa to, 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 to record and Kalawa keeps the studios sharp. Now you're at a point where you can get these kids studios. Oh, oh, they, oh, they, oh, they oh, become oh, their own Kalawas. They oh, mustn't yeah. start... They mustn't start, like, where's the growth? That's what I'm trying to say. You understand? It's like when I started the podcast, I was recording from an iPad. Now when the Bantuizis and Popcorn and Cheese come, they must also start from an iPad. Mm. No, they must, they must start with Black Studio. And even like now, Black Studio will drive them thanks to Kia Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> There's growth. There's growth. There's growth. I get that. You understand what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is, if if you're in a position where to make change, I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong. Yeah, we all know. I get you 100. It's it's it, he's he's not he's not 
doing anything illegal. Yeah, yeah. He's but doing from everything. someone who... Because I feel like the music industry was started by people who didn't have the creativity Thank to you make very much. the music. Thank you. It was white people wanted to eat. in suits. It's a capitalist wanted to eat machine. From the, those with talent, yes. right? Yes. But now that the guys who have earned their stripes, who are creative, who made the music, who started in the shack, are ascending to the executives, things should be done different. You understand? Like when I used to work at radio, we never got paid for appearance fees. So if the station was doing a gig wherever, we never got paid. It has changed now. Oh, has it changed? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they must have watched the podcast and changed it because that's what we do on the podcast now. No, no, you're right. A lot of things have. On on radio before, uh, if there's a, a live read, right? Or a power spot, for example, where you endorse a product. Mm. You are meant to switch on the mic and say, Thank damn, man, much. so I bank with Absa and the other day they gave me this incredible product. It's boom, amazing. Boom, boom, boom. It has helped me. You must try it as well. Now, mm. people are like, shit, if Salt has, has, you know, has used this product, I'm getting it as well. Mm. Before on radio, you didn't get paid for that. Zero, just you know, a Now you get paid. Mm. You know, because of that cycle whereby the people who've been on the ground have gone up and be like, the conversation Thank changes you. with Thank the Absa to say, no, man. And, you know, these yeah. guys are endorsing you. Yes. You get paid if you're going to do, if Netflix is launching some stuff, they'll want Saul there to come have a watch party. Thank you get paid you. for that, yes. you know. So the same growth is essentially sh what you, you we should be seeing in the music game as well. Mm. And Pori, be, having been in that position, should be championing this. Yes, yes. He can say he did it with Gabza, for example, because Gabza is not... He's, it's a Birdman Lil Wayne kind of situation. He's got his own thing happening now. Yeah. He's an exact. Yeah, boss but Gabza is using the same model, dog. He's also got a China shop of producers that just produce. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the same model. Are you for real? It's the same model, dog. <laughs> it's the same model. <laughs> Who's been signed to Gabza? Oh, we'll dog, to, and musical, the chef. Ah, oh, there's so many, dog. There's so many. Let's call one, man. Uh, I don't have any of their numbers, bro. Malky's left, Gabza. Marquis left. Calvin Momo was once part of the China show. Oh, yes. Calvin <laughs> Momo was part of Gabriano mm. Hub. Damn. Fuck. Not the China ah. show. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I get, I get heated, man. I just, just do the right thing, man. Mm. Just do the right I, thing. I get what you're saying. Like, stop being greedy, man. The pie's big, bro. Mm. Piano's been played in every single club in the world, dog. How do you, how do you get keep that kind of money, bro? Can't. You can't. You're fucking Cons. mad, bro. Can't. Let people eat. Not true. Not true. Anyway, what's next? Um, what do, how do you guys feel about um Universal Music Group removing its um music catalog from TikTok, the social media platform? Because uh, the, 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 they were negotiating, ne? So basically, there were negotiations, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so they sent a letter to the owners of TikTok accusing the social media platform of offering an unsatisfactory payment for music and allowing its platform to be flooded with AI-generated recordings, oh, yeah, which dilutes yeah, yeah. the royalty pool for real human beings, according to the company. Mm. They're not making money. Man, so it's crazy how labels take money. advantage of kids and then when they're getting taken advantage <laughs> of, they are crying they're babies. Crying. And the rest of us must fucking rally behind them. You know what I mean? Because mm. they are crying. They've been crying. Spotify yeah. pays very little. Streaming services pay very little. They don't make much money. Yep. Yet, for such things, how many masters of artists do they do own? They own. And, then, and they give artists very small percentages as well. So to me, it's like, ah, bro, I don't feel for labels, you know? Because like I said, contracts between label and artists are exploitative, you know? So when a new game player comes and shakes up the playing field, then they bitch as well. So I, I really don't feel for labels, but I get it. You know, there is not much money that is made from, hence why with Spotify now, Spotify owes a lot of labels and it, they, labels have essentially taken the power back, you know, because now they influence what must be on the front page on these playlists on Spotify. We've spoken about this mm. before, but I don't feel for labels, man, because they take advantage of, 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 of artists. They've been doing it for hundreds of years. Hey, what happened to Shibby Shit? He got into an accident. Oh, Shame. Into an accident. Shame. Got into an accident. Yeah. But he's, he seemed fine. He seemed fine because he was taking pictures. I saw pictures. He was taking pictures next to the car. <laughs> oh, of course. Shame. People don't give a fuck. Yeah. like Got into an accident now. Oh, cool. That's so sorry. Can we have a picture? <laughs> That's how it is. Oh, you're eating with your child. It's, your, it's her birthday. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Let's take a picture now. Oh, you're holding your child. Can we get a picture? Um. You know what I mean? People really don't give a fuck. It's about what they want when they see you. Hey, man, he is he's what he like, says he is, bro. <laughs> Talk. I he heard he drives himself to gigs, eh? Does he? I heard so. Yeah. 
Guess Damn, so. that's hectic. That's hectic. No, man. As long as he's sober, man, you must stay safe, bro. You know, a lot of people love him. You know? Yeah, yeah. As long as he's sober, he can. I mean, Malinga drives himself, you know, but he doesn't drink. So a lot of artists do that. If I know Fresh, I've seen him drive with that uh, a car of theirs and his band. He also drives. Fresh. Yeah, I've seen him oh, drive. Right. Yeah, I've seen him drive. Mm. So as long as he's sober, man, now you can. Mm. What else you got I'm for us, Wesley? Drive yourself. Oh no, so I wanted to ask you yeah, I about uh, DJ somebody's friend. Oh, he does. <laughs> no, I don't. <sighs> yeah. Some pure does. Yes. Yeah, it's pure drives because I drink. Mm. <laughs> hey, when's that? What's it? Oh, fucking oh, me. We fucking go in. I you know we fucking go in, you know. <laughs> please, Simpio, no accidents this year. Uh, please, man. We still need you, dog. Hey. <laughs> hey, this guy. I didn't see Willis Pew, but hey. uh, somebody's friend? Yes, that got um shot and but it it didn't die. DJ Vetti. Yeah, Vettis. DJ Vettis. Vettis. Yes. What's going What's on? Going the corner shamans, you guys, eh? Is there something that is DJ like, Balzo? Yeah, I heard, I heard about what it. What happened? Like, it's somebody's best friend, DJ Vettis, got shot leaving a club. Oh. Similar style to uh, DJ Somebody because he got shot leaving his yeah. cafe Woodmead, right? Uh, he was leaving, um, I think, a Yep Yep, mm. and uh, he got shot, but he's alive. It was a hit, an attempted hit, mm. clearly. I don't know what is up there, man, but I mean, it's no coincidence, really. Is it a coincidence if someone gets shot and then the best friend also gets shot at? How do you find uh, the resilience to wake up like after an incident like that, dog. Like, isn't that traumatizing? So you just choose to die. No, if you didn't die, you wake up. Hey, but that must be traumatizing, man. No, it is, definitely. <laughs> no, Matt just asked, how do you find the resilience to wake up after that? So it's, you can't choose to die. If you survive, you survive. So you just wake up like, oh, thank God, I did not die. What did you mean? Now yeah, yeah, your yeah. statement is confusing also. Hey. What did you mean? What did you mean? I understand the confusion. Yeah. Okay, don't worry, I got you. No. But what do you mean? Like, no, I'm saying after being shot at and you almost die, right? Yes. Like, sharp is fine. You're in the coma now, sharp. No, you, you survived. Home, you survived, boom, boom. The next day, like, how do you find the strength to be like, Yo, oh. let me wake up and do what I gotta do. Because oh. it must be traumatizing, bro. It's like, yo, no, definitely. If, if had the bullet just gone in a centimeter to the right, hey, it's bro. gone. Yo. Like, how do you go to a, if it was a stop sign, how do you stop at the stop sign? Like, yo, yeah. the trauma. The how trauma. does life co- carry on? Yeah. Right? yeah. It's yeah. crazy. I don't yeah. think, I don't know how to survive, man, a hit, eh? Hmm. And they're so brazen. Did you see the um, Rand Water guy? You know, there's a Randwater guy who got killed mm-hmm. in front of school kids. Justice. Yeah. Wow. So Randwater had a back to school thing. There was the ANC Johannesburg chief whip wow. there. Randwater uh, director or something was there. One of the big wigs at Randwater. They were about to give out shoes to school kids. And uh, and it's disturbing because clearly someone within that hall, it was a hall, told, sent the instruction to the shooters that, yo, the guy is here. He's mm-hmm. ready now. And the guy got in, went on stage. Boom! Ten bullets, I think. Ten oh, shots. Shot the Rand, uh, Rand Water guy. Shot the ANC chief whip. But they just, like, hit him in the shoulder. He survived. And as that was happening outside, shot the bodyguard as well mm. of the Rand Water guy. Then you ask yourself, why does a Rand Water guy have a bodyguard? Mm. Just in front of school kids. Would you guys uh, do a podcast Brazen. in a hostel? In a hostel? Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why not? Meh. You want to go to a hostel? Yeah, I was at a hostel like two weeks ago. Oh. What are we doing at a hostel? I wanted to eat the meat there. I felt like chisanyama. Oh, oh nice, nice. So Which I hostel? Called Tuso in Tembisa. Oh, oh nice. Tembisa. Oh, when you called me, I was at the car wash. You were in a hostel. Be- after that, yes. Is it? After that. Oh, you know, before. So we ended up chilling there because when we went to the hostel, like everyone wanted pictures every five minutes. So yes. we couldn't chill and eat. The car's at the hostel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the, well, why, what's special with the meat at the hostel? Um, it's straight from the cow that they stole. Ha, no, not not they stole. The one that he drove into. <laughs> so he kills it. They ship it to the hostel. Oh, it's fresh. The meat is fresher. Yeah, the meat is fresh. That's <laughs> for they stole the cow. Mac is peddling rumors today. Oh, told, man. And, and when they scale it, the guy doesn't have a scaling thing. You go to me like, Funinyame 200. He looks at it, goes, Nai. There's no Eh? Hey, hey. Yeah, because you're not going to scalp. Drop it. 
<laughs> I don't want to go my time or even the skull. <laughs> they don't care when you go, you can have meat for 100. It's like, okay. Wah, wah, wah. There. <laughs> for real. Ah, experience, boy. I'm seeing you spill your own bias. Yeah, experience. But you'll find you at the butcher. Like, when you get there and you're like, I want meat for 100 and they've got a scale, the guy knows pretty much, like, how much is 100 yeah. bucks. And more than, like, you know, you'll find that he's very close, but, like, yep. two, two rent off. Yeah. You know? So the guy's pretty... Like, it's like a guy off fucking a I'm you'll probably be very close if you want to petrol to clip a thousand or whatever, you know? Man, there's, there's, yo, there's so many funny stories from the hood. Man, we got to do it. Like, I, I got to bring you these guys, man. That day talk, I've never loved so much in my no, life. Oh. I'll tell you one story. There's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mac. Hey, Mac. <laughs> so, hey, Tuso, hey, Tuso knows these stories, man. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Met, I met like five different characters. Yeah. I went there one Sunday, we chilled. And time flies in the hood, boy. Yeah. yeah. Yo, yeah. went there at like one, left at like 10. The stories I heard, my dog. Mm -hmm. I must actually bring the guys here so they can tell the stories themselves. Hey, it's fucking funny. So these guys will live in the hostel. Yeah. No, no, no. no. This is after we left the hostel. We, now we're just chilling by the... Okay. By the corner there and drinking. Oh, and dope. Whatever, whatever. Okay. So this guy, there's a guy who drinks every day in the hood. Ne? Mm. You know those Malumas that are yeah. always drunk, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, out of nowhere, bro, he buys a BMW 325i. Yeah. No one knows, like, how. They were all shocked. Like, this yeah. nigga, like, he drinks every day. How did he get this car? Boom, boom, boom. Mm. He just got it, my dog. So now, as he just got it, he leaves his hood. And then he sees, like, other um, VR6s. They were... Spinning the car. So they're spinning the cars. These are like professionals. Must spin, must spin. So about, hey, my looms, shy motor lap, I'll spin it up. It's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Went straight into the house. Fuck, fuck, yeah. fucking Monday, no? Yeah, it's fucking Monday. And he just got the car that day, oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Queen. Yeah. 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 No one so now he's got another car. Every time he goes past the hood, they're like, Shy Mod! <laughs> <laughs> but how did he get this car? Now I'm even curious. Uh, I gotta love the hood, man. Then I asked this other guy, I'm like, hey, my man, I see, like, yo, there's so many cars here. Uh, I was like, if in the hood, you know, like in the hood, like when you want a gym, people make fun of you. Like, why are you trying to gym? You know, it's like they make a mockery out yeah, of you. Yeah, the hood, bro. You can just walk past it's like a if group you're of jogging, guys. Yeah. It's a road session, man. Yeah. It's, it's, those the hood, bro. it's the hood, man. Yeah. <laughs> like if you're jogging, ne? <laughs> so so I'm like, so Mina, I'm like, I've got a scooter, ne? So what would happen if I lived in the hood and I was driving my scooter? Mm -hmm. The guy's like, oh, we fell up you. <laughs> Yeah, Vela Pio, Vala window, right? Yeah. All those shouts, Vala window! As a mockery, just like, oh, close your windows, man. I, I, I'll shower more in your thing. Yeah, it's like a, a hood thing. He's like, when it's about to rain, so chill, eh? Vela Pio, the rain is coming. I'm a guy. Yeah, the hood, eh? God, I love it. <laughs> There's this other guy, and he hates his sister, dog. Oh, fuck it up. Hates his sister? Yo, he hates his sister, dog. They don't even talk. They were there in the same vicinity. They didn't even talk at all. He's like, I told you five minutes, I'm going to get some harm. I don't want to. Jesus. Jesus. Why, 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 why? I'll bring him. It's not the story talk. Hey, no, I was laughing, dog. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anything else you want to talk about, Ghost Lady? Yeah, I also yearn for like fresh, like breaking news. Well, what yeah? you got? You got something? So I was just checking on things that are trending and I found out. So now, currently, oh, Kefi Poo is trending. Kefi Lwe Mabota. Oh, Mabota. Kefi Poo. Oh, Mabota girl. The Slay Queen, yeah? The Slay Queen. Why is she trending? The very, very famous. The Oh, oh she's the A grade, the Slay OG, OG Slay Queen. Queen. Is she dish in Saudi or something? Ah, uh, who knows, man? He's dated everyone, yeah. man. Nah, I know a thing he did. What's the you... other one's name? Who? Uh, it's all the, all the bum. Ah, so all of them. The all the bums. Yeah, all of them. So, you know what she's trending yeah, for? Uh, oh, she yeah. did. Okay. But she, you see, she did. Yes, she did date um Edwin. But if we look at all this, what she's trending for currently is for the fact that everything is fake. What we've been seeing, you know. All this time, yes, I can't people. It's like now there's a whole breakdown. It's actually a long story. So Wait, everything is in, it what, what are you, What's everything? Cars, everything is fake. The lobolas, you know, every like what what we've seen. You know, you know how they say that social media will, will put you under pressure to seem like as if you're living this lifestyle or whether it's like you are in this level. So 
Remember, there was a time she posted and she was there wearing Eso Makoti and it was like, here's the story. Look I at don't it. remember. Check it out. Check it out. I've just sent you the whole list of all the things. It's a long story. How long is it? We have things to do, man. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. You know, you know, You've so once fits. To put cars in. <laughs> so once fits. Orange and spill. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. We've got cars crashing to walls. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I see you just sent it. Uh, she was never married. She did it for content. Wow. Yeah, the mystery surrounding social media influencer Kefi Boo's supposed marriage has been solved. A year ago, the media influencer, whose real name is Kefi Lomabote, broke the internet after she posted pictures of herself posing with a herd of uh, Bonsmara cows with a caption. Kefi Lomabote, Kimakote. She also shared pictures of her Lobola celebrations on the same day in another post, surrounded by her family dressed in a custom-made cowskin dress mm. by the famous designer Gert Johan Kuzia and rocked a big diamond ring. In another post, she wrote, 0301 2023. Uh, okay, this is the date of the post. This time it's infinity. Remember God's teaching vividly. Yo, quoting God in mm. lies, stumbling across... Psalms, Psalms 37 mm. verse 4, mm. which reads, Delight yourself in the Lord. He will give you all that you the desire or the desire hearts. of your heart. Mm. According to Zumoja, it turns out that the content creator who's also an estate agent was never married. So she's not only selling houses, but she's selling dreams. <laughs> According to sources close to the influencer, she claimed to be a third wife of a wealthy businessman whose name is known by Zmocha. She was dating the businessman at the time. There was never a marriage. That entire thing was staged for content. Wow. The poor guy nearly lost one of his wives after she posted those pictures. The wife thought he secretly married her without her knowledge. Said that, uh, uh, said said the alleges. Another source told Zimoja that Mabote roped in her family and they agreed because they know that's where she makes her money. It is said that she is known for going an extra mile to create interesting content for a social media clout. We all knew at the time that it was just for content. She also did it to make her well-known ex-boyfriend jealous. So I'm assuming that's Edwin. After he left her for another influencer. Yo, she fooled her followers and other celebrities who were quick to congratulate her, the source said. According to the source, her content was contrived to gain more followers. The bigger the following, the bigger the box. If indeed uh, she was married, where was her hubby during the festive season? Because she was on vacation with her friends, asked another source. Zimoja called Mabote for comment, but she did not answer our calls or respond to her texts. Mm. Wild yeah. Content will kill you my Content dog. will kill you Content but I, So she was then Trying to make the je uh, 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 Ex jealous But also Possibly trying to Break the current marriage Because that guy I think he's got his team well, That's the problem mm. That was the issue Yes mm. But also now If she stages a whole thing Was well, she hoping that All three wives Leave the guy Because now I he think... got married In secret And then She has it ah. She has them All to herself for the and family also, to even be part of that. Yeah. <sighs> and also, like, well, what about her real job? Why does she have to go to through these lengths if she's got a job, an does estate she have agent? A real job? <laughs> and she. <sighs> so clearly, it, she doesn't. That's just a title. Does anybody know whether she does indeed sell houses and mm -hmm. who's bought a house from, from her? From because, her. Yeah. Like, why would you have a job and then still go through so much? Then why would social media be? Of import, it's like knowing that now people are getting paid on Twitter, and then you focus on that when you actually have a job, and maybe it's paying you well. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, and then shame, family shameless. They are part of it as Thank well. Thank you. Mm. I mean, it's one thing to say to your mom or your sisters or whatever, "Hold this, it's for content. We're shooting something." But to come to a whole lobola <laughs> thing you. and oh. take pictures in her dressed in cow skin. <laughs> Just for content. So ah, many content. I'm not coming if I'm a family member. Like, <laughs> like, Did you hear ah, that story? Gosh. There's a there's what a if they promise you money soul as well. Oh, also, Negoti, hey, this is what is feeding us. Mm. Damn, bro. So they're getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you hear the story about this uh, Nigerian guy? He married um a South African woman and he did the whole Lobola thing. Um, but he um gave the family fake money. 
100k, 100k oh. worth. <laughs> Poor so, old uh, grandmothers went to go buy bright packs. Can't believe the money was fake. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they got arrested. Yeah, they got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> but they what was arrested? Yes, yeah, you heard that story, no? Is that wow. a real story? But yeah, who, it's a real story, though. But who does that? Then what does he think? Does he think the family will just keep this money under the mattress forever? <laughs> exactly. Of course they're going to get caught. And of course, they'll most likely try to bank the money or use the money. He doesn't no. care. He's got the bride. How? For a week, and then she finds out the money's <laughs> fake. And then what? <laughs> hey, I, but, uh, you know her fetch check fetch check for something. Ah. <laughs> I just wanted to state that Sowetan Live actually made an article regarding it and they did state that police say that it's fake news and that such did not happen. However, yes, there was a trending rumor stating that there's a man from Jukilin who paid um, fake Lobala. It sounds fake, mm. man. Because then, then what happens? Then you've got the bride for like a week and then the family What about the out. story that uh, now when you marry to a Nigerian, you must go live in Nigeria? Check What's that? that now? There's a new law they're trying to pass that if you get married to a Nigerian, you must go to Nigeria. A South African law? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You must move and go to Nigeria. Right, man. For how long? Where do you get though? your news, man? Oh. That sounds fake, man. They make funda in the Tanday. That sounds fake, man, also. Eating too little. <laughs> Too <Bunch late>. of... <laughs> uh, nah, man, that sounds fake, man. That sounds like fake news, man. For how long? Why, though? Yeah, like, yeah, like, why Nigeria? Why? What about if you marry a Mozambican guy? And why would they chase you out of your country of your birth? No, I get it. Nigerians marry South African women for citizenship and stuff. That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of them do. Mm. Yeah. Nah. No, it's a lot of all these nationalities, you know. Yeah, like, like Pakistanis as well. There was a whole yes. TV show on that. Remember, I think we even spoke about it. Bangladeshi, these is guys are a, is a, is a nice fed check. Mm. My credibility is on the line here. Hey. It's fake. <laughs> Well, there haven't been any news regarding it, so I'm not sure if it's credible. But there is a blog stating that in from 2022, there was something like that that was supposed to be amended. But since it hasn't been stated on real news, I'm thinking the blog is fake. Yeah. If, it, if the source is just a blog. Uh. Mm. Yeah. It's just wishful things. Say, make it what you want. Yeah. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Yeah. Say it with your chest. I'm a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Say with the chest, bro. <laughs> oh, he ain't eating food. I'm a hobby. No, you, you'll be apologizing in a few episodes' time. Nah, man, come on. Apologizing. You know yeah, when it turns out it's real. Nah. Okay. Our government loses enough courts, uh, trials, an NGO will take them to court over that. Okay, who say, can we call? Who can we call? Constitutional. To, 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 uh, to, nah. to, to tell us about this. It doesn't even sound like. Can we call an pass. advocate or a lawyer? Yeah, it doesn't even sound like it could pass if they were to yeah. propose it. Like, it doesn't sound like it will pass, bro. I mean, it just, yeah. And there'll be some NGO that's going to oppose it and win in the court. There's only an NGO, bro. You could call Zizi Quarter, but he's probably NGO. there in the changing room there. Coaching Bafana. Bafana Bafana for tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait pass. tonight's game, man. Pass, cross, pass. <laughs> what is he doing here, bro? Coaching Bafana Bafana. <laughs> Okay, all right. I can't connect there. Can you connect there for me, but dog? Who are we gonna call? So, which lawyer can we call? Where's the stout, man? Oh yeah. yeah? We're calling a lawyer. Which call? Which lawyer should we call? Tanya. No, lawyer Marco, break. man. Oh, Natasha. Tanya. No, Tanya. Tanya. I want to call her Natasha. Tanya. 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 Tanya is like on a break or something. She's studying. She's studying at the moment. Okay, let me call Braden. Braden. All studying. Braden is a lawyer. Mm. Okay, cool. There's Braden. Let me call Dan, attorney. Let's go, Braden. And if I'm right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Meta Kekana. Everyone's sorry that I thought it's the girlfriend. Yes. Huh? The one with the bum. It's Meta. Meta Kekana or something. That's a new name. I've, ne I've never heard of that name. You've never? Yeah. Is it? Uh-uh. Oh, damn. Oof, so Bro. Hey. Sal, what's okay, wrong? Cool, cool. I'm a baby. Yo. Cool. Ah, yeah, yeah. Baby. Yeah, <laughs> when did this baddie <laughs> thing start, <laughs> guys? <laughs> I'm so <Sorry>. bad man. <laughs> hey, Pratan. Hey, Mike G, how's it? Good, good, man. You live on the podcast. Sol is here. Ghost Lady is here, yeah? Pratan. Ghost Lady is here. You live on the podcast, man. Are you live on podcast? You are live. 
Oh, okay. Listen, I wanted to ask you, is there a law uh, that is waiting to be passed saying that if you marry a Nigerian as a South African woman, you must relocate to Nigeria? Fuck. Nah, I haven't heard of that, eh? But would such a law even pass, man? Like, as a lawyer, yeah, would I don't, such... I don't believe so, right? Eh? Yeah. Come again? No, I don't believe that it will pass. Yeah, it sounds unconstitutional. It sounds like you're sending people away ah, from their right lawyer, you, but country of birth. You wouldn't pass. No, for sure. What what case are you currently working on right now? Like your high, highest profile case? My G? Mm. Uh, you should have prepared me. I'm literally in the middle of something. Hmm. Yeah, what? I'm in the middle of something. I'm in a meeting. Oh, yeah, but tell them to hold on. This is the biggest podcast in Africa. They must chill. <laughs> no, man. My G, uh, this is important as well. Um, you should have told, uh, like, uh, told me in advance so that I can uh, get okay. myself right. But just tell us, what's the highest profile case you're doing now? And then we'll let you go. At the moment. Mm. Uh, it's not high profile, but uh, I think he, uh, it's an important case. Uh, it's about, uh, it's, it's a rape matter. No? Oof. It's what? Rape matter. Rape of blood. Uh, Mm, mm. It's a gang rape, actually. Gang rape. Ivar, Ivar. Ivar, Ivar, Ivar. Ivar, Ivar, Ivar. Who are you representing here? No. The accused, obviously. The accused, no? Mm. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. No, no, that's go back ugly, to your meeting. Man. Yeah, no, yeah, man. man, do you go for I counseling, man? Because... Hey, Dan, do you go for counseling, man? Because, I mean, already just knowing that, that sounds heavy. And you, like, you've got the details, the gory details. Do you... Yeah, I know, for sure. Now and then, I do go for counseling. Oh, man. Oh. Mm. Nah. Hey, okay, okay Brad Dan, we'll, we'll let you go. Thank you, Brad Dan. Oh, man. Sure, Brad Dan. Yes, no. us being a lawyer. Hey, hey, hey. It's fake news, bro. No one is getting shipped to Nigeria for marrying Nigerians. <laughs> You're just trying to stop the South Africans. Maybe you're trying to scare the girls not to yeah. marry Nigerians. Yeah. No, yeah, it's on base. Ah, I better who you want, guys. It's on base. It's on base. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you were like, would you, if you were a lawmaker, you know, you and had the power, would you say, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, when you marry, you marry the, 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 the into the... Uh, the, the family and yeah. the country, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the man to be banished now from your country. <laughs> That's wow. That's like uh, draconian. Uh, and not banished. Sounds like from the 1700s. <laughs> Leave. You're not here anymore. You're not ours anymore. <laughs> no, not 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 banished, but you know. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> if you are the dictator hey, in this country. Hey, I'm a says more All right, man. We are here. Anything else? I'm leaving out my dog. Oh, Ghost nah. lady. So what's the conclusion with Kifu Boo? My gosh. <laughs> conclusion is, you get on up on about to social media and then it's in a nifisi impelo zabo, you know, or feel like your life is not moving because these people on social media are getting things done and stuff, you know what I mean? Because like, a week ago also, she was also busy at a dealership buying a fancy car. The cars are Lemon. rented. Uh, Sometimes they're not even rented, it's just a photo shoot. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. The lifestyle is fake. I don't understand that car fake, thing. It's funded. It's like it's like they don't believe it's their car. Like why post it? Like it's your car. You know it's your car. Exactly. To show the people that you're doing well, or to sell the image of doing well, man. Like when you bought your car, so did you do the whole? Do you have pictures? Hey, standing? man, it's just a Kia, bro. You know why would I even buy the Glen? You know, oh. funny enough, I actually bought like my first car at the Glen, eh? At the oh, Kia, the Glen, but it wasn't a Kia. It was a second-hand car, but I bought it there. That's where they they they, they were selling nice. it. Um, no, I wouldn't do that, man. <sighs> I did with my first car, though. You know, posted it at home, like, hey, I'm proud of myself, whatever. But it's not my style. You know? It's not my <laughs> style. Not like, style. Uh, with the way they do it, it's now. like you can't believe you have a car. It's your car. It's your car. You're like you're gonna pack it. You know? But you're proud of yourself you're also. It's like giving yourself a, a pat on the back yeah, but publicly. you don't have to post it. It's not happy, though. It's not going happy. Ah, Mac, man. It's saying, hey, guys. Those who know my story, maybe. 
Yeah. Then send them via WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not social media. Yes. <laughs> it just screams attention. Look exactly. at me. Oh, man, I hate yeah. that shit. I uh, gotta let you know, Bantuizi. Uh, they've got a campus tour. Oh, shout, shout out to the Bantuizis. Uh, they're going to be at Vits this coming Tuesday. So if you're a Bantuizi or a chiller who's in the Vits uh, uh, University, please go out and show them some love. Spreading Humors uh, will be there for the first leg of their campus tour. You'll get to see Yonder Woods, Seema, and Zile Weezy live at the Vits Downstairs Theatre on Tuesday, the 6th of Feb at 11 a.m. Entry dope. is free, but is limited to the first 150 people. Mm. Speaking about tours, our nationwide tours looking good. We've oh. confirmed the venues. Oh. Yes, yes. Nice. We're starting March, ne? Yeah, we're going on the road from March. I when can't March? wait. I think beginning of March, yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Where, where, where do we start? Uh, let Durban. me see. Durban! Get to Queenie. Mm. To Queenie. Wait, by the way, uh, you guys are not invited. You can go to Golden River City all you want. <laughs> You have a day off. Don't receive it. Yeah. Come on, we're golden for what? So she's taking an iPad. Damn, puppy. Everyone. All right. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. What do we got to do to get in that club, man? Hey, That's its bro. nice thing. Yeah, guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. What are we boring, dude? Boring. Right. Smatala, like this, smatala. Not for me. It's like, is this Smata. the only thing we're good enough for? Smata. This is it. Oh, this heavy content. Oh, Smata. hey, now it's all kumakun. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> one. Oh, it's one. Me, I'm a full man. Ten. Me, why you fuck a very minute? When I why you need to, I mean, you say. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it come to content. Yeah, I'll make. Oh, come on. Because I'm busy like studying a China chow shop. I'm not using it, man. We need a mold in there. We need a mold in yeah, there. Yeah, we need a mold. We need a mold, man. Someone. We need Don't a mold, run. bro. Yeah. So, so as it stands, we're looking blank. They're gonna put the mic. We're taking this pill. We're gonna press the record before now. Come on, man. And then, I don't want to say that we're going to lose 10. I don't want to lose 10. We're going to lose 10. No, man. Hey, this is your content. We'll plant a mold. Don't worry. Oh. So, these are the dates, but subject to change. All right. Meaning they could change. But as it stands, 9th of March, we're going to be at Izulu Theatre, Umtlanga, KZN. Okay. 13th of April, we'll be in Bloom Civic Theatre, Free State. 27th of April, Marupa Casino in Bulukwane. Uh, 3rd of May, we're going to be at the Star Theatre in Cape Town. Dope. And then 11th of May, we're going to be at the Boardwalk Casino in Tlabeja. Mm. And then we still oh, need to get a date for Pumalanga. I didn't mention Pumalanga, ne? Yeah. Yeah. And Northwest. Northwest, Sun City is fully booked the weekend we wanted. So we're looking for another venue. Okay. In Northwest. But yeah, I will update that. But so far, yeah. Nah, so far, so good. That's so yeah. good. Yeah, yeah man. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait, bro. Can't wait, bro. It's going to be awesome, Whoa. man. Can't wait. I can't wait to go to Cape Town, man, and Durban. We haven't been there in years. Why Cape in Town? Because we haven't been there in years, bro. Since the last time when we started, remember? Oh, shit. Hey, Cape Town, as a podcast. Been long, bro. Yeah. It's been a minute, bro. It's been a minute. Fuck. Yeah. Did I leave out anything? Are we good, Dudu? Nah, we're good. All right, we're coming at you at uh, Mashavela Studios. Oh, yeah. Make sure you email podcast at mashavela.co.za. Yeah. We're out here, man. Podcast and Boom. Boom. Bye. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo even when they ask you, how sabiin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistiri. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.